Hi guys, this is Toniko Kanashiro. I paint on bags and other things and recently I started digital painting as well. Welcome to my channel! This is a time-lapse video of my second practice of Procreate. At this point, I am sketching out what I wanted to draw. Um, I found this really interesting pictures online that I thought that I would want to recreate. I wanted to try a white line on her face. I don't know where to place it yet and how to do it, but that's the plan. I am very new to digital art, so as you can see, I'm kind of struggling here and trying out different lines. Here, I'm sketching out how I wanted the hair to look like. By the way, to those of you who don't know me personally, I am actually from Negros Oriental, Philippines. So my dialect is Cebuano or Visaya. When I'm making this video, I was thinking of talking in Tagalog, but I didn't know I was so awkward when I speak Tagalog, so I opted for speaking in English for now. But um, if you would like me to speak in Tagalog or Cebuano, please comment down below so I would um, try to practice on that. I mean, I speak Cebuano or Visaya perfectly, but my Tagalog, I don't know, it just sounds so awkward. So going back to the painting, I have finally drawn the white line that I wanted but when I was showing this to some of my friends, they kind of thought that it was like a tear and when I look at it, it does look like a tear and I did not intend for it to be a tear so I was um, at this point I'm thinking of redoing the, the line or maybe cutting it short. I saw some Procreate tutorials on YouTube. Um, some people cut the picture and flip it on the other side. I thought that would speed up my process. So I decided to focus on the right side. But this is only applicable when you are painting something that is facing forward, of course. At this point, I am just doing finishing touches before I flip the image and I was having a hard time doing the eye part because as you can see, it kind of looks wall-eyed because I did not think of that it should be perfectly facing forward and the eyeballs kind of tilted to the right so then I had to crop the eyeball and move it a little bit to the right as you can see here, and that's a pain in the bum. So now I am focusing on adding more details. I really like um, crowns and flowers. Recently that is. I did not draw or paint a lot of flowers in the past but since I started accepting commissions, um, 
some people would request me to draw or paint lilies and roses and orchids so that's when I started to kind of memorize the flowers so that's um that's what I'm trying to do here I'm adding some flowers for a little bit of femininity and since I didn't have to do more research on flowers because I have already memorized them so that's what I did here um, maybe in the future I could use another type of flower but that's for the later I'm still focusing on practicing on how to do the layers and stuff like that so maybe next time let's try another type of flower I also added koi fish because I like its meaning or what it represents. Um, it's basically um, perseverance and kind of like just not giving up. About the design and the composition of this painting, I did not really plan it from the start to be honest. Um, I know that I wanted her to look like uh, royal so I added the crown and then um, looking at her hair kind of reminds me of a Japanese Maiko so I also added those elements there the design on the hair and these cute things that they decorate their hair with these little things that I don't know what it's called if you know what it's called please comment and let me know um, so yeah that's what I'm trying to do here and kind of just looking at the balance so I've sketched it and if I think it looks good and the balance is nice then I finalize it as you can see here on a different layer and I deleted the sketch layer after that We are finally almost done. Um, this actually took me about 18 hours and 22 minutes. That's what it said on my iPad. So yeah, this took a really long time also because I knew as I said. So I'm going back and forth with some of the things that I, you know, I'm still learning. So kind of don't know the process sometimes. So yeah. I wonder if you have anything that you want me to make a video of, please comment down below. I am more used to painting with acrylics and drawing with colored pencils, so if you want me to make a video of those, then let me know. There's probably some tips and tricks that I could share with you guys. So yeah, just let me know. And here's our finished piece. I really hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe comment and if you can please share this video with your friends this has been Toniko Kanashiro talk to you on my next video bye